Next, we'll examine the second order integrated rate law with example 15.5 using graphical analysis of reaction data, just like we did in example 15.4. Consider the equation for the decomposition of NO2, where NO2 forms NO plus O. The concentration of nitrogen dioxide is monitored at a fixed temperature as a function of time during the decomposition reaction and the data tabulated in the margin at, at right show by graphical analysis that the reaction is not first order and that it is in fact second order and determine the rate constant for the reaction. We're first asked to demonstrate that the reaction is not first order. So in order to do that, we must prepare a graph according to our first order integrated rate law where the ln of the concentration of A at times T at time T is equal to negative KT plus LN of the concentration of A at time zero. So we see here that if we plot time versus LN of the concentration of NO2, like we did in the previous example, where T is on the x-axis and LN of A is on the y-axis, we would expect to get a straight line. Now we're not actually given the data here. It says it's in the margin, but it actually isn't. And so I didn't bother to plot this in Excel or LibreOffice Calc. But you can see here that this does not follow the first order equation because this isn't in fact linear according to the first order integrated rate law. So since it doesn't fit the first order integrated rate law, we need to confirm that it is in fact second order. In order to demonstrate that the reaction is second order, we need to prepare a graph of 1 over the NO2 concentration versus time. So here's our second order integrated rate law where 1 over the concentration of A at time T is equal to KT plus 1 over the concentration of A0, where this corresponds to the, the equation for a line, Y equals MX plus B. So we see here for this equation on the y-axis we'll need to plot 1 over A and we'll plot that against T on the x-axis. So in fact the data has been prepared this way here where we're plotting T versus 1 over the NO2 concentration and we get the equation for our line. You see here that the K is equal to M, so K is the slope, so the slope is 0.255 for this reaction at this temperature. Next, for practice 15.5 asks us to use the graph and the best fitting line in example 15.5 to predict the concentration of NO2 at 2000 seconds. So we're given this equation on our graph and we can use that to predict the concentration of NO2 at 2,000 seconds. We, we learned earlier that this e equation for this reaction fits the second order integrated rate law, which is written as 1 over the concentration of A equals KT plus 1 over the concentration of A at time 0. So we can simply plug in our values 1 over A is equal to 0 0.255, that's our slope, times 2,000, which is our time, that's 2,000 seconds, plus 100, okay? And so 1 over the concentration of A is equal to 510 plus 100, which is equal to 610. So at 2,000 seconds, the concentration of A would be equal to the inverse of 610. So the concentration of A at 2,000 seconds is equal to 0 0.00196 molar. Actually, this is millimolar. So this is 0 0.00196 millimolar. 